Triathlons can be daunting, especially when you're faced with choosing the right triathlon bike. While having the best bike won't make you an instant champion, it can definitely improve your aerodynamics. However, before you start looking for a bike, it's important to understand the technical jargon and various options available to avoid feeling overwhelmed. We've compiled a comprehensive list of the best triathlon bikes of 2024. You can easily purchase any of these triathlon bikes by clicking on the link in the video description below. Number 5 Quintana Roo VPR The VPRE continues Quintana Roo's legacy of offering the best handling among triathlon bikes. In my opinion, there's nothing better available for triathletes who prioritize comfort in the aero bars, regardless of the conditions, crosswinds, headwinds, downhill, rolling hills, etc. Building on the positive assessment of the VPRI's handling, the bike offers a smooth ride over all types of road surfaces, similar to my experience with the original VPR three years ago, even when using deep carbon wheels and navigating rough roads in windy conditions. I found it easy to access hydration and nutrition options at all times, without any concerns about encountering bumps, large or small. Although the nutrition storage may not be revolutionary, it is spacious, seamlessly integrated into the top tube, without any complex or fragile components, and easy to clean. With space for six gels, and the ability to easily insert, remove, and clean residual gels after a ride, the design is simple yet flawless. I've mentioned this before, but it's worth repeating, creating a truly exceptional bike is a difficult task. Even bikes costing $17,000 can have minor flaws that detract from the riding experience during a grueling race day. Therefore, even seemingly small details like the hydration reservoir and nutrition storage are crucial, as they can turn a potentially record-breaking day into a day of learning. Number 4 S Works Shiv Disc The bike features a large aerofoil-like structure behind the seat tube, which also serves as a 1.5-liter storage tank for hydration and improves the bike's aerodynamics. Its most notable feature is the dual crown-like fork, extending from the axle to the bars to enhance performance in crosswinds. Additionally, the head tube protrudes slightly beyond the front of the fork legs for further aerodynamic improvements. The cockpit offers 115 mm of height adjustment and plenty of reach adjustment, with standard 22.2 mm extensions for customizing your fit. The bike is currently available only in D2 builds and is not compatible with mechanical drivetrains like the new Venge. Furthermore, the new Shiv is disc only, with the caliper neatly integrated behind the fork leg and inside the rear triangle. Number 3 Trek Speed Concept SLR9 Trek claims that the new Speed Concept saves 6 minutes on the Kona bike course compared to the previous model. To test this, they used a life-sized mannequin in the wind tunnel for e apples to apples e comparisons and found that the new bike was faster at all wind angles. Our real-world testing confirmed these findings. When we took the new Speed Concept for a ride, it lived up to the marketing claims. It provided a comfortable and familiar ride feel, allowing us to stay in position without feeling unstable. The bike's adjustable features allowed us to customize our riding position to our preferences. The hydraulic disc brakes provided superior braking power compared to the previous rim brakes, instilling confidence during rides. Despite not having ridden triathlon bikes extensively in the off-season, we felt noticeably fresh after rides of up to 90 km. Overall, our experience with the Speed Concept was positive. The improved comfort, storage features, and adjustability make it a worthwhile upgrade from the previous version. Coupled with the claimed speed benefits, it stands out as one of the best superbikes of 2022. Number 2 Felt IA FRD 2.0 TT bikes are very specialized. They are designed to do one thing and one thing only, to go fast. I could definitely feel the speed difference between it and my faithful Fuji. While I'm not a bicycle enthusiast, even I could tell that this bike is incredibly fast and allows me to go faster with less effort. I'm sold. I really like this bike. However, it wasn't all perfect. I had difficulties with the felt's aero bars. I couldn't stay in the aero position for very long, the elbow rests and extensions were too close together for me, which put a lot of strain on my shoulders and wrists. This ultra-aero position might be okay for professional cyclists who are on the bike for about 4 hours, but it doesn't work for me as I'll be on the bike for more than 8 hours as an age grouper. I had to find a more comfortable position, and it took me a while to figure it out. With my race just a few weeks away, I was getting worried. Finally, I found an unconventional setup that worked for me. 
I was confident that I could ride the bike comfortably for 112 miles before starting my 26.2 mile run. Feeling afresh after a 112 mile ride is crucial before a marathon. Number 1 Canyon Speedmax CFR Canyon, a company known for sponsoring top pro triathletes like recent Ironman world champions Jan Ferdino and Patrick Lang, decided to take on the toughest challenge in triathlon. They aim to improve the bike that had been ridden by the men's Ironman world champion for the past five years. To achieve this, they collaborated with aerodynamics specialist Swiss Side, conducting the most comprehensive aerodynamic development process of any bike ever at Swiss Side's facilities. In the wind tunnel, they used a bespoke set of carbon fiber spinning dummy legs on the bike to gather accurate readings. Canyon claims that the new top-of-the-range Speedmax CFR Canyon Factory Racing model, tested at speeds of 45 km per hour, saves 8 watts over the outgoing Speedmax CFSLX. When tested with the bike alone, the savings increased to 8.9 watts, and when pro athletes were on board, they say it was as much as 10 watts. According to Canyon's engineers, this improvement is significant at the competitive level and could save up to 230 minutes over a 180 km race. Thank you watching this video. Do like AMD subscribe.